New CBS News polling shows Americans remain split about when climate change should be addressed. 49% of those surveyed, as you see, believe the issue should be dealt with immediately. 19% say in the next few years, while 18% responded, not at all. The Amazon rainforest in Brazil is one of the sites at the center of the climate change debate. Research shows 17% of the world's largest rainforest has been destroyed in the last 50 years, 17%. Scientists warn a road project in the region is accelerating that pace of deforestation. Now, Terrence McCoy is the Washington Post's Rio de Janeiro bureau chief. He recently traveled across Highway 319, which uh, sort of carves a path through the rainforest, as he'll tell us. And he's here to show us what he saw. Uh, Terrence, first, I, I guess just help us paint a picture of what you saw and what you and your team observed is at risk. I mean, the, the Amazon forest itself is at risk, according to scientists. Um, we traveled down this highway. It's called BR319 Highway. And it carves a path straight through what is the heart of the Amazon. And the Amazon, as you said a moment ago, 17% of it has been chewed up by deforestation. Uh, but that 17% of it has mostly been focused around the rim of it, almost forming a border around the edges of the Amazon, what's known as the arc of deforestation. What's different about this highway, however, is that it will carve a path right through the heart of the Amazon, which is one of the last bastions of contiguous forest in the Amazon. And so the fear is that if this Amazon highway is opened up, it would open up an unprecedented doorway to criminal invaders that can go in and, and without much state control, start tearing down the forest. And that could be the, what pushes the forest towards what scientists call this tipping point which could ultimately usher in the end of the biome itself. Terrence, I believe you said about 17% of the Amazon rainforest is, is experiencing deforestation. What are the implications that this could have on the rest of the world? Yeah, they're huge. They're huge. And uh, just seeing that graphic a moment ago that you put up that, that uh, only 50% of Americans think that this is, these are issues that need to be addressed now. If you travel through the heart of the Amazon, you'll see what's going on and what's happening in places like this, where people have this conception of what the Amazon is, that it is this vast blanket of forest going across a continent. And in large parts of it, that still is the case. But we're talking about 17% of it that is being chewed up by deforestation, that when you think of deforestation, it's not like, oh, some trees are cut down. The entire forest is gone, and it's replaced with cattle farms, and cattle just wander through these fields that if you walk through it, you never even know that the Amazon was ever there at all. Um, it doesn't look like the Amazon in any way. So this is an issue that is accelerating, uh, has already pushed the forest to what people think could be this tipping point. And scientists say it's something that needs to be taken care of and, and slow now. There's no time to wait. Yeah, many people saying that Brazil has a responsibility, not just to Brazilians, but to the rest of the world, considering the global implications here. Uh, the president of Brazil, President uh, Bolas, uh, Bolsonaro, uh, says that paving this highway that, you, um, that, that, that we're discussing here uh, would fulfill the wish of the Amazonian people. Does that match your reporting? It does. Um, you, you travel to a lot of towns throughout the Amazon, uh, small, faraway places, even big cities. Uh, the reality is that there's a lot of regions of the Amazon that don't really have much development, that the road system is, is extremely complicated, that uh, during the rainy season, people get marooned out there because the roads are so bad. Uh, so, I mean, this is a real political quagmire is that many, many people in the Amazon want to have development like this because it would improve their lives, it would allow them to economically improve their status, but that would also mean ushering in what could be the end of this biome. And like you said a moment ago, this has implications for the world. Uh, the Amazon acts as this sort of bulwark against the rise of climate change, this vast carbon sink. And if you remove that shield, uh, scientists warned that they could have a destabilizing effect and it could accelerate the, the, the process of global warming and our, our chances of slowing it could be derailed significantly. Terrence, our, our viewers are able to see images of what's going on there in the Amazon. Is the Brazilian government doing anything to help the environment? Uh, yeah, I mean, the Brazilian, it's, it's a complicated story, right? I mean, so the Brazilian government 
has historically done a lot to help the environment. It has created this rule for farmers, at least in the Amazon business in the Amazon, that you can only use 20% of your territory for economic gains. And think about trying to get something like, like that passed in the United States where they say only 20% of private property can be used. But this is historically Brazil has performed a, a great role in preserving the Amazon. What's at stake now, though, however, is that uh, the, the Bolsonaro administration, which is very pro-development, very pro-business when it comes to the Amazon, has, has done a lot to significantly slow down and derail even a lot of environmental enforcement, whether that is defunding agencies that have been instrumental in, in, in uh, derailing deforcement um, or, or just slashing the number of people who are working in the arena. All right, Terrence McCoy, thanks so much for your reporting there in Brazil. Thank you for having me.